Hello everyone, I am teaching 100 plus unique web application security issues in just 20 hours. With this course you can apply for security testing jobs or you can do bug bounty from home. Watch from lesson 0 guys, otherwise you will not be creative. Search in YouTube Uday Datrak bug bounty. This is a separate playlist to learn in 20 hours. Hello everyone, today we will talk about the command injection payloads. If you search in Google for command injection payloads, you will be seeing hundreds of payloads which can create the username and files on the username and password on the server, it's like credentials or can disable the firewall on the server, can enable the remote desktop service or can delete the files on the server, can open the ports on the server. So all these commands are very dangerous guys. So you should not use intruder to set all the payloads before like knowing properly about what that command is doing. So instead of that, instead of using a list of bunch of payloads, you can simply use these kind of like you no know, payloads, DR payloads for Windows and LS for Linux guys. So now I'll be showing you some of the simple commands like as you guys know that if I try to execute DIR, it is showing the commands, uh, it is showing the list of the contents here. Sometimes what happens if you, your input is passing to as a optional argument value to another command, then you can separate by using a pipeline character, it will show us the results. I am not sure like at this moment why it is like if it is this, sometimes if it doesn't show any results you can just double pipeline then you could see the results guys so and also you can use ampersand or double ampersand now you could see the results because this is how you have to check for these basic commands guys if you use all these like you know six different methods some or the other way you could see the directory contents like you can also check it on the command prompt for example if I write some wrong input and if I give a double ampersand calc it won't open but if I give it as notepad and double ampersand both will be opened can you see guys notepad and so you need to play with the commands you don't have to remember these things guys blindly try to pass this like you know six different like this kind of what do you say payloads these six are more than enough 99 percent of the chances you could easily find out the command injection using this approach itself guys don't use those kind of creating the files on the server malwares on the server or else opening the ports or opening the remote desktop port because most of the command injection payloads are those itself without knowing the things you cannot use it because it's something you are doing beyond the attack your job is to confirm the vulnerability guys so try to use this if you are on a linux try to use this. these six list guys so if you want to search in google you can search for, for command injection payloads but i would suggest you to being a fresher you can being a beginner you can stick to this like seven one two three four five six yeah they are commands do not use ping commands guys because on the some most of the secured servers the ping commands will be disabled ping command or else some other commands would be disabled so i would suggest you to use the basic command itself dir that's it guys